Stephen Findison, aka CoffeeZilla, has taken it upon himself to unmask all the crypto scams set up to prey on gullible people. Findison has already revealed the truth about scams set up by the likes of Logan Paul, MMA fighter Dylan Dennis, and entrepreneur Sam Bankman Fried. Stick around to find out how and why the YouTuber stands up for the common people against the predatory rich and famous. Welcome to the AF Empire channel, where we focus on influencers, stars, and famous people. If you're interested in this kind of content, then this channel is for you. Make sure to like this video, click on the subscribe button, and turn on the notification bell to keep you updated on our recent uploads. Now let's get right into the life of CoffeeZilla, aka Steven Findison. Findison first grew a dislike for scammers as a young boy, when his mother had cancer and was scammed into purchasing products that would cure her illness. In an interview, Findison revealed, she was sold a bunch of snake oil, and I think she believed all of it. Later, when Findison was enrolled at Texas A&M to study chemical engineering, his friend pitched him a business opportunity. The friend remained vague about the specifics, but maintained that there was a strong potential upside. Findison quickly realized he was being coerced to join a multi-level marketing company and declined, while some of his friends signed up and, as expected, the business went nowhere. After graduation, Findison started a YouTube channel alongside his day job and dedicated it to making people wary of such scams. His content included videos titled, Corporate Jargon, Lying by Obscurity, and hence, helped people spot the scammers that he disliked so much. However, Findison's popularity really took off when he turned his attention towards all the NFT and crypto investments endorsed by celebrities and businessmen, an industry crawling with frauds according to Findison. This is when Findison switched from being just a YouTuber helping people spot frauds to being a full-time investigator of crypto and NFT-related scams. The biggest bust that Findison helped pull off was of Sam Bankman Fried, the CEO of FTX, a crypto trading company that has since collapsed and gone bankrupt. Findison posted a video on YouTube titled, I accidentally interviewed SBF and he hated it, in which he showed himself in talks with Sam on three separate occasions. So I wanted to show both interviews. I think they're very interesting. I really wanted to press him on this $8 billion that mysteriously went missing that he didn't know about. And I'm sure I'm gonna be breaking these down more specifically in the days to come. In the first interview, Findison questioned Sam's claim that he had no idea FTX's customer funds were wired to Almeida Research, his crypto trading arm, a questionable practice. Sam's answer to that question was suspiciously short as he simply said, I had a lot going on before leaving. I mean, I, I don't know what to say, like, I, I had a lot going on. Um, and I was spread thin. I was a bit less grounded than I had been before. In the second interview, Findison got a bit more interrogative and questioned Sam's image as an incompetent leader of FDX. He phrased the question in the following words. Every time it comes to a hard point, the answer always seems to be, I made an embarrassing mistake. It's hard to believe you made this many embarrassing mistakes. Sam didn't have a very good answer to this either. Finally, it was in the third interview. Findison finally got through and found evidence of fraud when in response to a question. Sam admitted that FTX's customer deposits were treated differently than outlined in the company's terms of service. As soon as Sam said that, the first thing Findison highlighted was that was a literal admission of fraud. From there on, the news spread like wildfire online, and only a few days later, Sam was arrested for fraud while CoffeeZilla was lauded as a true citizen journalist and protector of the people. Following that success, Findison, the self-proclaimed internet detective, exposed Logan Paul in a YouTube series exposing Paul's NFT project, CryptoZoo, which Findison believed to be the biggest scam in the industry. How much did you guys make from CryptoZoo? I lost around $50,000 in CryptoZoo. I lost $40,000 and I lost around 15,000 US dollars. I lost $25,000. $120,000. $500,000 Australian, which is half a million in crypto zoo. Shut up! No, you haven't! Logan Paul described his crypto project as a really fun game that makes you money. Cryptozoo.co. I am so excited about this project. It's, it's, it's so fun. It's a really fun game that makes you money. In theory, 
The game allowed players to purchase eggs using an in-game cryptocurrency called ZooCoins. The eggs were said to hatch into animal NFTs, and after hatching, the eggs would yield zoo coins on a daily basis that users could exchange for cold, hard cash. But as Findison's investigations revealed, there was no way for users to hatch the eggs or to cash out their holdings. Following Findison's revelation, Logan initially took to YouTube and said he would take legal action against Findison. However, Logan then deleted the video where he made this threat and took a softer stance, where he thanked Findison for bringing the problems of his project to light. Coffee Zilla is not a criminal. I called him, I apologized. Uh, my initial response to his series was that of, of, of fire, uh, an ego, flair, whatever it is, pride. I'm a fighter at heart and uh, I was defensive because I know I never scammed anyone with this project. I never made any money, never sold any tokens and I only had the best intentions going in. Um, but the fact is the suing CoffeeZilla is not gonna help crypto zoo holders. So I do need to focus my attention where it should be, which is on fans and supporters of me. You guys mean the world to me. So I'd like to announce my three-step plan moving forward. Logan even committed to refunding the people who lost money in his project, but his refunds only reached up to $1.3 million, whereas the estimated amount stolen in the scam was $7 million. Findison said what Logan did was not nearly enough, but it was better than his previous responses. Most recently, Findison exposed Bellator MMA fighter Dylan Dennis. Findison collected evidence that in the past, Dylan had promoted many crypto scams just because someone paid him to do so, without really looking into what he was promoting. In the ultimate power move, Findison paid Dylan to promote a crypto project of his own on Twitter. Knowing that Dylan doesn't do his due diligence about these things, the link that Findison asked him to post actually took users to a web page solely dedicated to highlighting all the scam projects Dylan had promoted in the past. The scandal not only revealed Dylan's past promotions of scams, but also made it perfectly clear that he doesn't even bother to look into what he is promoting to his gullible fans. Findison's success can be attributed to his genuine dislike of anyone taking advantage of the innocent, which is also the reason why he is loved by his 2.57 million subscribers. For more scoop on other famous YouTubers, subscribe to our AF Empire channel. See you guys next time!